Hi Sagittarius, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your weekly reading. I've got some nice news as well, um, but first of all I've got to go to, uh, through the rhythm roll very quickly. Thank you very much for coming back and being a faithful follower and thank you for sharing and liking with family and friends and I hope you're all well and thank goodness the borders are opening up again and life is getting uh, back to a little bit to normal okay and we s have seen it coming in the cards and things are getting better I'm using a couple of new decks um, but first of all if you're new welcome to the channel as well and please subscribe and hit that bell and then you'll be notified hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live or when a new videos are uploaded um, if remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign video and enjoy and if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one, um, reading uh, or an extensive reading then look in the information below this video in the description box or click on this little white circle in the corner that will take you to the website and there you can see the different readings on offer now the nice bit of news is and there will be a competition uh, started in a couple of weeks uh, before the holidays and you can win the shadow land tarot um, from Monica B uh, Bodurski and I hope to have an interview with her shortly as well okay so it will be a totally brand new deck and the publishers have donated that um, so I can do a competition and give away there's also a book that goes with this beautiful deck you can see the review on uh, on this deck um, on this channel and on the website coming week I'll be up for uh, dating you can this book is really really great if you can't read tarot and you're interested in it then this will captivate you with all the vibrant colors and the beautiful uh, drawings it gives you what the card means it gives a little um, saying and then it goes into the uh, keywords and the shadow uh, let's have a look it's not the shadow words aren't here but usually there are and also the message of the card and uh, tasks or reflections that you can use in meditations or if you are a reader it will also give you uh, what you call it questions that you can ask your querent here you have the shadows that's the reverse side of something it's the actually the first time I've seen that the shadow has not been uh, in cooperated on the wheel of fortune and I think if you think about it logically a circle goes round and round so it doesn't really matter with the wheel of fortune okay that's the wheel of fortune and that's the, let's have a look if it's the same with the world that would be interesting okay let's have a look that's the first time I've seen it these cards you can't read upside down in reverse that's what they do say and uh, yes you do have the shadow side for the world but not for the wheel of fortune so if you would like to have a chance at winning this deck um, then become a member of the channel and then keep an eye out because I'll be um, uh, putting a video out uh, on the website as to what you have to do to be able to be um, could be considered for winning this deck and I will leave a comment in the community sector on YouTube um, that when I've uh, uploaded a video onto the website or you can win this deck that is vice versa I've used it but I've got so many decks that I'm and I want to do something fun in the on the channel in the tea room so this is an other deck that you could win 
Okay, so that is the bit of good news, and that is exciting, and then you can take your tarot book and your cards on holiday with you if you are going on holiday. I think the borders will be open, and I think a lot of people will be going to the camping or to a little house. And uh, I don't think people will travel very far, though. But I think people will try to go away with a caravan or rent a little house. Okay. To keep the family unit together. Okay. So, the first card you have is the Six of Swords. And look at the quirkiness of this deck. It's so beautiful and vibrant. It's the Six of Swords. And obviously... The boat is crossing water, but it's being stopped by the big dragon, or Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> so you're moving away from rough waters and going to some quieter waters. You might be going on holiday, or you might be moving home. You might be crossing water, you might be even immigrating. Wow, and I was starting off saying that people are, will be going on holiday. And there will be news, as you've got the birds. The birds means news. You might, or somebody might, feel imprisoned, and they are going to leave the group. Because usually you see a bird flying away. So somebody has left the group or the coop. The coop meaning the house. But be careful, birds sit in groups. Be careful of gossip. But news will come to you. This could be a telephone call, a letter, um, a text message, or an email. On Wednesday, you have the Hermits. And the Hermit is somebody, it's time to take time out. That's the advice. Meditate or contemplate and evaluate. What is your situation? And this is a number nine, so something is coming to an end. Yes. Something as simple as leave it, letting go of old rubbish that is no, of no use to you. So do that. Contemplate of what you can let go. As the hermit travels, he, tra he travels always. And that's the life journey. It's not where it begins or where it ends, but it's what you learn and experience that is important. So you take the knowledge with you and pass it on to the third parties. Could be children, could be other people. So where there is an end, there's also a new beginning. You might have had a disagreement because brooms means disagreement. Okay? Or arguments. But you've got number 11, so you're all right. Even the cat's got a broom. <laughs> I love this deck. I love both of these decks. Monica Bravinsky, she's got a magical imagination. And she makes it so much fun to read the cards. Okay, the angels are with you. Number 11, there's a porthole, a new beginning that you can step through if you're dared to take it. Again, a 9. So you might have sleepless nights on Friday. Ooh, you might be dreaming about all spiders. Again, put your worries... Uh, uh, alongside your clothes when you get undressed and putting on your nighty at night and give your stress and thoughts and worries over to the divine they are with you there is a new beginning there might be worry about business though as we've got the lily the lily means you might be seeking advice from a teacher a doctor a lawyer, somebody from an institution or a municipality, somebody professional, or it could be a father figure. You've got 30, so that becomes a 3, so that means creativity. And look at these two numbers beside you, the two 9s. Okay, that becomes 18. So 8 and 1 is 9 again, so 9 is significant. It could be 9 hours, 9 days um, that you have been worrying or something is going to happen in nine days or nine hours, you know what resonates with you. Nine is significant. And at the weekend you have victory because you've got the six of wands. Again, a double number at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week. 
The six of wands means you have victory. You've got public recognition. Yeah. <laughs> love it, I love it. Well, it's a, a, a funny ghost partying um, and uh, riding on the back of somebody else by the looks of it. Usually it's a horse, somebody riding in on a horse, but this is also the public. Giving public recognition, cheering, look at all the balloons and the wreaths and the swirly bits celebrating. <coughs> okay, and you do see more things. I thought this was the body and this was the head and somebody was sitting on top of this person's head but it isn't, it's all heads of public, sorry so they're hailing you in okay you've got success, you're going upwards and onwards you're moving on to bigger things you might be moving home or you might be going on holiday wow okay you might be moving home, as I said, there might be an extension in the family because we've got the child here. That means you might find out that you have reached success because you're pregnant and that's what you wanted. Whoopee! Good, 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 good. Don't lose your head over it, okay? Stay with, stay, um, stay with both, both feet on the ground like the body does but you might be drifting away because of happiness yes balloons are here for you okay be more playful um, you might don't be too serious you might start learning something you might start a new study that's also what the child means but don't don't worry don't lose your head over things okay things will work out 13 is for me fellowship that's what it means in the I Ching and one and three becomes four you are finding proper f foundations you are with both feet on the ground boom great stuff be more playful don't be too serious that's boring again take time out you've got holiday you've got moving home um, but you've also got double warnings of taking time out to meditate or contemplate, think about the next step or move you want to make. Okay? As you have the Four of Swords. So go and relax. Think about things before you take the next step. And you have learned from past experiences. Perhaps you are thinking of leaving something behind. Perhaps you want to get famous and want to leave a legacy behind. So that is perhaps what you're stressing about. How to do it. How to do it. Write a book. Write a song. Write a poem. A poetry book. Or become a presenter. Or a film star. Oh well, you're a star in your own right, Sagittarius. You need to uh, realize that. And you've got the nine. The nine of Lenamon. Again, an ending, a new beginning. You might, you have luck on your side. You've got the the flowers. You're going to receive a gift or um, uh, and luck. You've got the nine uh, queen of swords. Something will become clear to you, or you might meet a Gemini, or a Libra, or a Aquarian. But the queen of swords is promptly um, Libra. Now, the stone that you can uh, wear or you can meditate with is aquamarine. Aquamarine. And this is the spirit of aquamarine. The spirit crystal aquamarine. And you've got number seven. So good luck again. The angels are, the divine is with you big time. You've got four, four here. You've got uh, nine, nine here. Um, and you've got six, six here. You've got three double numbers. And the uh, 11. The, the angels are giving you um, a message. A very strong message here. Enhance clarity. Calm discernment. 
so don't stress okay stay calm awareness and acceptance of one's truth it will become clear to you like the queen of swords where is she um the queen of swords ah here the queen of swords she will uh, she can she fights for what she believes in she communicates and she's eager to learn all the air signs are and they will go straight through to the core they cut through to the core to get to the truth so you want the truth about something the truth will always come out and uh, aquamarine is seven so luck is on your side more than ever it's easy to get lost in a flood of information while remaining focused and on task may be difficult when your senses are overstimulated aquamarine spirit has appeared to tell you that you really do have what it takes to sort it all out and become clear as you make decisions your powers of discernment are now magnified and you are poised to make healthy choices for yourself and the good of all so carry that with you you can uh, go to Pinterest type in the crystal spirits by Colette Baron Reed Oracle deck and type in aqua marine okay and now we're going on uh, the air signs are quite prominent because you've got the air queen of air here and you've got the lovers from the white witch tarot and the lovers are Gemini and I love these cards because you can use them for uh, for tattoos have a tattoo done in your zodiac sign I've made the review and under the neath the video of the review I've put down all the zodiac signs with the uh, big arcana card uh, equivalent so you might be if you're not hooked up you might meet your soulmate that is the lovers and now um, the lovers all I'll read out of the book so you can get my definition and the definition of the book reciprocity reciprocity okay friction of the exterior raises the attention of force the sl that slumbers when alone and an outside thing that can be felt crawls under the deepest skin contentment will not end cont contention departure take to the end means we soon will meet again though forms and flesh are rearranged our inner faces are the same the mirror sleeping in your bed produces fruits of Eden when you wed passion drawn through raw response is virgin pure and grates the dawn that is the poem that goes with that card and the last card my darling is celebrate life that is the message from spirit for you your postcard from spirit but that's not the only message there's the big long message on the back I love writing postcards but it's too expensive to do that nowadays it's a pity it's it's like a trinket from uh, a holiday trip or whatever and letting people know that you're all right they love to hear from you okay dearest wonderful you and I always address my querent or the person uh, the zodiac sign that I read for is the dearest wonderful you Sagittarius to help you maintain a life for the highest good we invite you to examine your deepest desires imagine all your desires no matter what kind like magic seed pots in a basket glowing with infinite potential look closely at what each one are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention 
and invite negative reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intentions take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that? When a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful, to share with others. Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. That's the message from the Divine and the Spirit. Wow, beautiful. I hope that motivates you or supports you in any way, Sagittarius, and I hope you're well and happy. So don't overdo things. Take one step at a time. You can't run before you walk. Just remember that. You take time to gather knowledge meditate contemplate and evaluate and throw away what is of no use to you i love this reading for you take care stay safe and please share and like and remember if you want to join into the competition then keep an eye out on the uh, on youtube on the community button and my website take care be blessed and stay safe